It's October, and that means it's National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. In observance of this, I have set up a fundraiser through the National Breast Cancer Foundation, and I have a goal of $3,000. That's just 10% of my subscribers, so if everybody could just donate a little bit, I could easily exceed that goal. Everyone knows that breast cancer awareness and women's health in general is very near and dear to my heart, and that's why I've decided to... Um, come up with this fundraiser. It was very last minute. I'm literally at work filming this video really quick on my break. Um, so again, <laughs> another low quality video from the Brawlers Diaries, but I feel this is something really important to get out, especially since it's the first of the month and we'll have the whole month to fundraise and hit that goal of $3,000. Um, I chose the National Breast Cancer Foundation because they work with women through every step of the process. Um, I really liked that they use a portion of that money to go towards women who can't afford their yearly mammograms, so it even helps with the prevention of breast cancer. And to me, that's really important. So I actually pulled together some statistics that I found from um, cancer.org, the Susan G. Coleman Foundation, um, and I'm going to give you a few of those just to show how hard breast cancer really affects women. And even men, men can get breast cancer too. Um, but right now in the United States, we have about 3.1 million survivors of breast cancer living here. Um, it's the second most common uh, for women to skin cancer, and it's the second leading cancer um, to cause death aside from lung cancer. Um, across all women here in the United States, one in eight have a chance of developing uh, breast cancer at some point in their life. That's one in eight. That's over a 10% chance that, you know, a woman watching <laughs> this video is going to develop breast cancer. Um, and eight in 10 don't, or eight in 10 women who have been diagnosed with breast cancer don't actually have a family history. So it will come as kind of a surprise because they had no idea that they were susceptible, as susceptible to it. Um, but for those who do have a family history, having a mother with breast cancer doubles the risk. So if you do have a history of breast cancer, definitely go for your yearly mammograms if you can't afford, if you can afford it. And if you can't, find a place like the Breast Cancer Foundation who will pay for that. It's very important and it is a more treatable cancer um, compared to some, so early detection is crucial. Um, I looked all over for something that could reduce the risk and there wasn't a lot of statistics on that that popped up right away because everything says this increases your risk, this increases your risk. Um, but I found that exercise does reduce the risk of getting breast cancer. Um, and each year there are um, over 266,000 new cases of breast cancer and there are almost 41,000 deaths um, this past year from breast cancer. So women and men <laughs> Early detection is key. Do your monthly breast exams. Go every year for your mammograms um, and keep up to date on everything because it is very important for your health. Um, so thanks for watching. Please donate to that fundraiser. Um, I'd really like to see that goal get hit here in the next couple days because I know I have a lot of people who watch my videos. Um, so even a dollar, um, I would just like to see a few donations roll in. So again, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more from me.